this video is not intended to be imitated uh, no parts of it uh, should not be copied or done by you or anybody it's just for educational and maybe entertainment purposes to watch that's it and all I had was 78 grams of the calcium carbonate so that kind of made my numbers go according to that um, here are my molar masses um, since I had 78 grams that's 78 percent of 100 so I took 0.78 times everything here I took it times there which gave me 78 grams here we know that there's and concentrated sulfur, I mean, uh, hydrochloric acid, there's approximately, a little bit more, but approximately one mole per 100 milliliters. I need two moles, so I times that by two, I got 200 milliliters, times that by my 0.78, I got 156 milliliters, and that's what I used. <clears throat> so what am I going to make? I'm going to make 111 grams of calcium chloride, all right? Now it comes as a hydrate, which is six deck. Well, if it's a hex, uh, then it's six. Uh, six times 18, which is the molar mass of water. There's six of them. That'd be 108 grams. So that's 219 grams total. 111 for the calcium chloride and 108 for the hydrate, the water hydrate. Um, so I'd make 219 grams times my 178. I mean my 0.78. I should make 170.8 grams of calcium chloride uh, decahydrate. There is no impurities. The CO2 is no, no big deal. H2O is no big deal. Calcium carbonate is not soluble in water, so it can be filtered out if I didn't put enough in. Or, I mean, I put too much in. I prefer to put too much of this in. That way it can be evaporated away and you have zero impurity. Now since I bought this at the Lowe's or whatever and it's not lab grade, there is something in there that's an impurity. I want you to notice that half of the calcium chloride, you know, is, is water. You know what I mean? Half of it's water and half of it's, you know, almost, not exactly half. But anyways, here's some solubilities of calcium chloride. Uh, 59.5 grams of calcium chloride. These are per 100 milliliters of water. Okay, um, that's at zero degrees, 20 degrees, 90 degrees, 100 degrees. Um, you can see the difference is about what two thirds. Meaning, if you recrystallize this from water and you had 159 grams, 59 grams will stay in solution and 100 grams would precip out, which is about two-thirds, you know what I mean, about 66%. Um, but like I said, we're going to, after, you know, normal recrystallization, as soon as it starts crystallizing, you take it off the heat. I'm going to keep heating it up and get rid of a lot more water. I just want a little tiny, you know, 10 milliliters water. I can see. Well, I got uh, 78 grams of calcium carbonate. And I got 156 milliliters of concentrated HCl, and I'm just going to put it in there. And you can see it fizzes vigorously, so it's going to take me a while to do, to do this. Um, so I'll get back to you when it's all done. Now I want you to notice two things. One is the color. Look, it turned yellow. So there is impurity. Two is, this is the last little bit of stuff. I'm going to toss it in so you can see that it is still fizzing. Here it goes. You can see it's still vigorously fizzing. Um, so there's definitely um, not too much of the salt. There's uh, too much HCl, which is good. Because we can evaporate that away. So I've got it on the heat here. There's water inside here. Heating it up. You can see it's yellow. I'm going to try to get this to boil. Basically, just trying to evaporate the water away. I got a boil in here and it's starting to recrystallize. You probably won't be able to see it on camera. But there are little crystals coming out now. Um, 
normally now, since it's boiling and since it's you're getting some crystals, you take this off. But there isn't much uh, uh, contamination in there. I'm going to let it boil even more away. I want to leave at least some water in there because it is yellow. But I want to boil it down more than I normally would for recrystallization. The reason uh, you can't really dry this the way you normally would, meaning you just boil off all the water, the hydrate, uh, it's because if you do that, it'll start decomposing the uh, calcium chloride. I'm not trying to make anhydrous, I'm just trying to make calcium chloride. I don't, so anyways, I'm starting to smell HCO. No matter how much I heat this, it still only gives me the same amount of precip. And it, I still smell HCL, so I don't know if I'm degrading it. Maybe I should have just... Uh, you can see this is nice clean on one side. Watch when I put it on here. Look at that. It turns red. So I don't know. I'm going to take this off. It has started to have some kind of crystals in there. I don't know if you can see them. What I'll do is I'm going to put it in this pan. And I'll let it recrystallize from there. I shouldn't smell HCL still. Yeah, I didn't put that much extra in. What the heck? So I'm just going to let it, uh, like I said, evaporate naturally. Well, instead of doing it slow, I just decided to throw it into the, let it cool down, threw it into the freezer. You can see it's, it's like slush now, kind of like snow. I'm going to throw it in here, into this. So I'm just going to suck the water out with this pump. Alright, uh, got a little bit of ice water here. I'm just going to turn this pump on and spray it down a little bit of water and wash it out. Uh, I'm just going to leave that pump on there for about 10 minutes and let it, let it dry up. You can see up on top I got nice white crystals. All the colors taken out. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but there's no color in there at all. It's just white. Um, down at the bottom you can see it's yellow. All the yellow color, all the contamination got out of there. So, I'm just going to take that as a loss. We're going to dry this up more and uh, see what our uh, yield was. And remember, don't eat this because you're going to, I mean, you can eat a little bit, but it's going to decompose if you try to dry it out to make it in I find that this was, uh, I used hydrochloric acid that wasn't store bought at Lowe's. Instead, I bought it, you know, or made it at a lab. Uh, they have no contamination whatsoever. But because of that hydrochloric acid, I have a loss here now. And no matter what I do, it seems to, like, the more it dries out, the more it soaks up water from the air. So I put it in the freezer. Chill it down. I'm going to suck it dry with this vacuum pump. And then I'm just going to weigh it. And that's it. I'm not going to dry it. Because uh, I don't need it to be anhydrous. I just want to. 
Well, it weighs 95 grams, but uh, it's wet as heck. So. so my thoughts and suggestions. My first thought is that this is terrible. I did a terrible job. Um, it seems like if you heat it up in, in the oven to evaporate it, you know, to get it nice and dry, you're just decomposing it. It just uh, seems like it just decomposes it, and it gets less and less. And if you just let it do naturally, let it sit out to dry the crystals, it seems like that uh, the more they dry, the more they suck up air, uh, moisture out of the air and end up just being watery. They never kind of, it doesn't seem like you can dry them out. Uh, they do have a thing called a desiccator, or I'm guessing that's what it's called. That's what I call it. It basically looks like this pot, this glass pot, only it has a gasket. And then another top, another pot that goes on top so that you have an enclosure, right? And then it would have a, a little uh, tube coming out so you can put a vacuum on it. And then you would put the calcium chloride in here, right? And you put something else in here that sucks up uh, water, you know what I mean? And try to put the vacuum on it to suck the air out, right? I mean, to suck the water off. And uh, I don't know if that would work. I, it's just a suggestion, I thought. The only reason I'm making this is because I want to make calcium sulfate because that's a special reaction on really making anything you want without using acids. Uh, or any salt, any binary salt. Um, so I'm just going to take it as it is, like I said. But this is just a suggestion. Maybe, uh, you know, put it under vacuum for a while. I, I don't know. That may decompose it too. I really don't know. John Black, Super Chemist. Just wanted to show you some of them crystals. Those are calcium chloride crystals. Isn't that wild? See if I can get some close-ups. I don't know, I just thought those were wild. Looks like a tree almost. Put it down. It looks like a tree. Oh, well, that's calcium chloride right there. Tetrahydrate. Anyways, y'all have a great day, and always remember, science is great.